everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymummy.co.uk. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to construct um, this little wallet that I made over the bank holiday with my lovely friend Kay. Now it's not my idea, I haven't invented it. My friend Kay showed me how to do it. Um, these have been around for donkey's years. Um, so I'm just sharing the bit, resharing the basic principle. So if I just quickly reshow you, it's just a little envelope, basically flip book. Okay, we've got the two flips there. We've got a pocket there. These two are pockets and then we've got an internal pocket there. Now I'm not going to make all of the tags and everything, but what I will do is I will share the measurements for these two larger tags here okay and this little tag here that goes inside I'll share the measurements for those on my blog at scrimpymommy.co.uk okay and you will find a link for that exact blog post in the description box below and then the rest of the tags here are just little ones I've made these from a, a tag die cut uh, die you could do whatever you want okay um, so like I say, it's it's nothing new, but I'm just sharing. Um, and once you've learnt the basic principle of this, you can then go and you can think, ooh, I'll, I'll add another envelope or another flip here or a, a different flip there, and you can really have some fun. So we've got three of these envelopes. I believe these are known as DL envelopes. And mine measure eight and five eighths of an inch long by four and a quarter. However, you don't have to have this exact um, size envelope. Really you could take the principle and use it with any size envelope, any colour, whatever you like, okay? Now these are not awesome quality but because we're going to layer them with DSP they're all, you know, they're good enough. Um, you know, you can get different quality envelopes. You know, whatever whatever you, you've got. I'm just, I just use what I've got at home. Okay, so the first one there will uh, attach opened like so. Now this one here we want to seal. So this is going to be the middle one with a top loading pocket. So we're sealing that one. Okay let me just move that one to one side. So we're sealing this one and we're just going to cut the tiniest sliver. Okay and I mean the tiniest and all we're doing that for is so that we've got a top opening like that. So the tiniest sliver and then set that to one side. And then you take your next envelope, okay, and don't seal it as yet, but from the bottom, which is sealed here, we're going to measure up to three and a half inches and trim, okay, pop that to one side. And then we're going to take the envelope and we're going to turn it around so that the sealed bottom edge is facing this way and the open edge is facing that way. Okay, and then we're going to cut it again up to the three and a half inches mark. Again, if you use different size envelopes, you know, figure out what size you want your pockets and your flaps. Okay, it's totally up to you. You can have them overlapping, you can have them, so the fault mine uh, has got a small gap there, you could have them overlapping, you can do whatever you like. You could attach them to the top and have them coming down, have it flipping up from the bottom, mine goes side to side. Alright, but you can take the basic principle, like I say, and play with it. So, I want... Um, first of all I'm going to see where I want my um, side flaps so I'm going to attach one uh, where do I want it I want one where did I, how did I attach that one now <laughs> I can't remember how I attached it turn it over like so okay so I'm going to have one going that way and the other one going that way so basically I've got one with the flap there, it's got a solid bottom and the open top I'm going to have on there. And then the other one will just go the other side, so the solid bottom's there and the top's there. Now you could seal that and have a side opening, you can do what you want, okay? There's lots and lots of different ways of doing it. So I'm going to just attach those first of all. Alright, so all I'm doing is putting glue on the flap. And what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to, um, I don't know if you can see there, okay, so if just this is just how my envelopes are, so I'm just going to lift that up and I'm just going to attach it there, okay, all envelopes are different, if yours is not like that then you don't need to do it, okay. And then I'm going to glue it so that it's flush with the bottom of my envelope, 
and so it lines up nicely there so it's nice and straight give it a push and I'm going to do the same at the other side all right let me just zoom in ever so slightly there we go all right I've got um, Benji and Chip in the craft room with me today so if they start barking I'll, I'll pause the video and I will come back okay so now I'm sticking that and I'm, and I'm adhering these to the back of this envelope here okay I don't suppose it really matters which way around you have this envelope but you stick the flaps to the back of it all right and then I'm just going to maneuver it so that it sits flush and that one isn't doing let me just I just want to move it slightly all right okay and then what I'm going to do as a visual guide for myself, I'm just going to grab uh, a one inch circle punch. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight through both the top, the front and the back of this. And I'm just going to punch myself a thumb hole and then I know where I am. And I'm going to do the same on this one. Okay. I mean, you can take time to line them up so they're exactly right. I'm doing this really quickly because I'm just showing you how to do it. All right. So now we've got this one. Uh, so we're going to do the same. We're going to glue this little flap up. Okay. And then we're going to glue the flap of this round the back of that one all right like so and these are fun because they're quick to do um you know you don't have to start i mean you can make this type of thing out of cardstock of course you can so that it's more sturdy you can use the same principle but it, you know sometimes we just want something quick and easy like I say, you can use it as a gift card holder, a money wallet, journal insert, little album, you can put little photos, so many uses. Right, so that is basically your little booklet done. So you've got your front page, when you open it, you've got a flap going that way and you've got a flap going that way. Okay, you've got a pocket here, you've got a pocket here and you have a pocket here okay and then what you can do when you've opened that if you want you can add something there to turn that into a pocket i've got if you look at mine i've layered just a little bit of lace at the bottom of mine so i can use that as a little tuck spot if i want on this one i just folded folded the envelope up slightly um there were different envelopes and then we've got a pocket here as well so i'm just going to come in i'm not doing the front and the back i'm doing just the front and i'm just going to in fact i'm just going to line it up with that one so that it looks nice and neat and i will just punch that out okay and then all you have to do from there on in is um line it with um this one's slightly different line it with um scrapbooking paper um, so where this one is a little bit short there what we do is we will line all of that with the paper and then we will add the paper just there okay so that it creates a full pocket and the same with this one here so let's get started and line it with some DSP so I'm using I'm going to use the lovely new bird ballad DSP okay and um, it's quite straightforward our envelopes measure eight and five eighths by four and a quarter so basically we just want to um cut one eighth of an inch shorter for everywhere so eight and five eighths long so it's four and a quarter so i want to cut it let me get it to the right way around i like that one so four and one eighth of an inch is the width that we need okay and then we want it eight and a half long eight and a half long and that will just give us a small border hopefully we've cut that right 
and that should just give us a small border all the way around yes there we go see okay and um, you know um, I you can see a little bit of the envelope so that's because I'm rushing and I've not lined that up perfect but you know it's a little handmade item it doesn't really matter save this little piece here okay because it will layer on the front of there all right so that's that one and um, we want one on the inside as well and we're going to get a different paper for that one let's have a look it's a really good way of using up your stash and your papers so I'm going to have I'm going to cut several of these now so another four and a one eighth okay by eight and a half and it's just a matter of picking papers that you like you don't even have to match um, I would use the same paper line or the same colours but I'm going to use various different ones in various different places so what I'm going to do I'm going to layer that one on there and another thing that you can do um, is you can distress ink all the edges or ink with stamping up inks whatever you want to do I'm not doing it on this one uh, because I'm doing it really quickly for the video okay but that looks really nice if you look at mine I've inked I've inked all the DSP and I've inked all the envelopes so you'd ink all of the envelope structure before you add your DSP if that's what you want all right so I can add that on there like so and that layers on nicely and like I said just bear in mind that you make your measurements to suit your envelopes so my measurements are just a guideline your envelopes could be different so I'm just going to go back in there and re-punch that thumb notch that I've done okay so that's that one and I will glue this one on the front and you you can get yourself a little conveyor belt running a little production line and you can run these up in no time at all um, if you do crafty classes it's a lovely class because it would help people learn their matting and layering skills okay Now my lovely friend Kay did have a brayer, like a rubber brayer, which helps flatten your paper and adhere the glue. I don't have one, so I'm just going to run over it with my bone folder. It is something that I do need to get. Right, so on here we're going to do, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use the same paper. Okay, so bring my trimmer in again. So again, I want four and one eighth. Right, eight and a half, really easy. Four and one eighth by eight and a half save that because I might be able to use it so nothing gets wasted because what you don't use for layering your little pockets you can make tags out of so not not a single scrap of paper is going to get wasted okay and you can keep these as plain or as decorated as you like the only thing I would say is don't overfill the pockets because you know this is only envelopes the the joins will only take so much weight um, I shouldn't have glued right up to the edge there because I've got a little gap there <laughs> so what you should do on this one is you should put glue on the pocket not on the DSP and then that way you're not going to stick your DSP to that inside bit but never mind you'll live and learn <laughs> I was trying to work uh, a little bit quicker than I should have been okay so I just need to try and get that straight there we go and then just lift it while that glue dries so it doesn't stick to my envelope and that is the pocket lined and then obviously you can go in with your punch game and create yourself a thumb notch there and you're going to put in one of these large tags okay again I, I didn't make it huge I made it to just fit in nicely alright so you just measure your pocket and um, you know I'll give you the measurements of my tags but just bear in mind you can make them how you want 
just need to add a little bit of glue there where I wiped it away a little bit okay so that's that part and then so I'm doing all the big pieces first so I'll do the back and uh, I'll see if I've got enough left here so far I'm one eighth that piece is too small so let's have another piece that I've cut into which are these lovely birds um, so far I'm one eighth by eight and a half just the same measurements re repeated like it's really easy to do okay we'll lay that on the back it might be nice with the plane there there's a little dotty pink on the back but you know if you've got beautiful paper show it off and I'm showing off the beautiful birds and um, this bird ballad paper is available from the 4th of June um, I'm going to be having to order some myself because I can't put, the, can't put it down. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, you're going to love this new catalogue. I'm so excited. I'm excited for everybody because I think they're just going to be absolutely bowled over. Okay, duck. So there we go. That fits on there nicely. And again, some people might prefer one eighth of an inch increment or a no increment. It's a personal thing. You do what you like. Okay, you you can take it and, and adjust it to how you like. Right, so let's measure this. So we need it to be, I know it needs to be four and one eighth um, across. So let's see what the depth of the, well, the three and a half out there. So four and one eighth by, no, so four and one eighth by, so if it's three and a half, we want it one, two, three and three eighths. Three and three eighths. So we want these. Layer in front and back with paper that measures four and one eighth by three and three eighths. So I'm going to, uh, I think, lay that on there. I like that. Let's get it cut. So it should measure the four and one eighth already because we cut it off the other pieces and it does. And we want the depth to be three and three eighths. Now the, these. Just want trimming slightly, so one, two, three, and three eighths. So we're not we're not losing a lot. It's just a sliver on this one. Three and one, two, three eighths. Okay, I put this one on there. So far and one eighth by th one, two, three. I'm going to need to cut another one in a moment. Okay, duck. So let's get these on. You can use wet glue or tear tape or whatever you like for the front of these and the backs. Um, the only thing I do advise is if you're sticking like things to side of pockets, like we're going to be sticking some paper and it's going to go there. I wouldn't advise using tape or else when you're sticking your tags in it sticks to the tape. So we're going to use wet glue. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with my little punch and re-punch that. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, and that is that one. Just give that a bit of a, a bit of a lift. It's a bit skew with, but never mind. Um, and we will repunch that out. All right. So now we're going to just lay the back of here. Just want a tiny bit more glue on there. I know I'm only showing you, but I do like things to be right. <laughs> can't do half a job okay so we're going to do the back of here now so like I say what we're going to do is we're going to add a line of bead there and we're going to put the glue on the envelope this time instead of on the back of the uh, paper and the reason for that is so it doesn't stick to this part here okay we only want glue where we want glue if you know what I mean so a tiny bead just down there 
and we're running out of Tombow. Tiny bead down there, okay, to just attach that DSP to there and then put your glue on the pocket on the on these ones on the back of here. Okay. Just remembering not to go right up to the edge, Amanda, because there's a small increment. So just remember to leave a little gap um, because you're going to have a small gap because your paper's smaller than you. Little bit. You can just wipe it away. Just make sure all the glue's dry before you shut it so that nothing's all sticking together where it shouldn't stick together. So I'm just going to re-establish that little thumb notch there. Okay. And that's that little... We've got a little pocket there now, okay. So there we've got a top loading pocket there, we've got a top loading pocket there, we've got, if it hasn't stuck, stuck down, we've got the big side loading pocket there and we've got the top loading pocket there. We just need to um, mat that with some paper, so let's have a look. Will this one fit? It should do. Let's have a look. So we want to cut into three and three eighths. One, two, three. Three and three eighths. Is it four and one eighth? Yes, it is. So again, on here, I'm adding a small bead of glue down there. Hope I'm in shot. I haven't even checked. I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible <laughs> so that it doesn't drag on. So that I'm going to add the glue and I'm going to try and be a bit more mindful of leaving a gap all the way around okay because um, my paper is smaller than the, what it's covering all right so let's layer that on there like so okay and make sure it's attached there where we put that bead of glue which it is all right Make sure it's okay. Just put some more glue on there. That's it. Okay, didn't quite have enough glue on that one, but problem solved. Then flip it over, re establish the thumb notch. Just makes getting tags. Um, in and out easier uh, and then it puts less strain on the you know if you've got one of those to get your tags in and out it puts less strain on the envelopes um, so there we go so that is all of our pockets okay and you can add something there so that you can tuck in and there as well all right so then for the belly band all I did and now I did layer mine um, first of all with plain uh, DSP and then another one should I do that here? I could do, I could layer that on there, couldn't I? But I'm not going to because I'm being frugal and tight with my paper. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is create a belly band. Now, I don't always score and be precise with belly bands. All right, this is a piece of A4. I believe it's the full length of an A4. It's just a scrap I've grabbed out of my drawer. Yeah, it's, so it's the full length of an A4 and I'm going to cut it to, I don't know, how wide do I want it? How wide did I do this one? I do a lot of things just by eye. Right, I cut this one to one and a half. So we'll cut this one to one and a half because that was a nice, it was a nice size. So it's, it's 11 and three quarters by one and a half. All right. Um, and then all I literally do is I will wrap that around to see how much I need. All right, so we can probably trim some of that off. Let me just get it right. I don't want it too tight. And what I do is I'll just like shape it, give it a bit of a squish, but don't have it really tight because you know you might put things in here um, and things like that. Okay, so um you could i mean you could let's have a look where well, could we cut it to we could probably cut that bit off we don't need all of that we'll trim it because it's adding bulk so then that would make that about ten, uh, you need about 10 inches all right so i'm going to layer that with some 
some paper. So let me see which paper. I'm going to use this dotter, I think. Do I want the dotter? Or do I want the flowerer? I like the birds, but they're the wrong way. We'll have this little dotty one here. So I know that I need that to bear uh, 10 inches. And then my belly band's one and a half. I want it a little bit smaller, so I want it to be one and three eighths. So 10 by one and three eighths. All right. Again, you can adjust it. You might not want to do it like this. You might want to do it a different way. Um, just giving you a suggestion. You could just tie that around with some lovely lace. Whatever. Whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. Put some glue on this DSP layer. And then layer it over. These are awesome if you do little crafty swaps. They're a nice little gift to put in or I might even put this up as a swap on my swap group See if the ladies over there would like to make one of these because they're fun and they're quick to make and they're inexpensive um, Everything doesn't have to cost us an arm and a leg does it So then what I will do is um, I will wrap it around again Re-establish that shape Alright and then just Overlay it at the back, you might want it a bit more central than that. Depends how fussy you are. I'm not too concerned. Let me just get it where I want it, it's about there. Alright, and then I would add some wet glue. Alright. And that is the bare basics of it. The rest of it is down to making your tags and decorating it. Alright, so you can decorate it in a variety of ways. This one I've decorated with lace. I've, I've put some lace there. I've put lace all around there to reinforce the bottoms. Um, that goes in there like so. What I'm going to do with this one, I did have another one of the bows, but this is not a stamping up bow. This is contraband. It's from Kay's. And that would look super lovely on there, wouldn't it? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, these. These have been floating around on my desk and they need using up. And I, uh, this is from the Free as a Bird stamp set. Did I get it out to show you? Here it is, and I, I made loads of these for customer thank you cards. Um, so I stamped it with crumb cake and then coloured with my stamping blends. And basically I used the a light blue, a green, um, it will have been Pear Pizzazz, knowing me, Daffodil Delight and crumb cake. Um, so I have quite a few of these hanging about. So what I've done is I fussy cut it. Uh, with my own bare hands. <laughs> I work my fingers to the burn for stamping up, I do. <laughs> um, I quite enjoy fussy cutting um, and sometimes I just have to have the dies for things and sometimes I don't. Um, um, you know, if you're on a budget you've got to decide which ones you like the best. So I've only got the stamp set for this one so that I could have the sail away <laughs> dies which is the, the the nautical themed one I had to have those so I'm gonna stick that right there on my belly band like so okay and then I've got one of these little sentiments again I put them on my card that I sent to my customers so I'm gonna use it up and I'm just gonna add that and, I'm just, and that's the, the beauty of these little wallets, especially for, the, for journals. It's about using up things that you've got lying about. And I'm just going to stick that on there like so. Just wait for that to dry. And this is just heat embossed. Um, I'm not sure where that hello's come from. I think it's come from the new um, Good Morning Magnolia set. I think it has. Okay, is that stuck? Just leave that a minute to dry and there we go. Alright, so that is how we create that little wallet. They're awesome fun, as I say. Um, if I just show you this one once again, you've got room there for a, a, a mat. You could double it over, make it a little notebook. Just be careful not to put too much weight in, you know, they're not meant to hold billions of things. Just 
the odd bits and bobs. Um, we've got the little top one there which is just a little journaling card. Again, I've just made this out of scraps of cardstock. Okay. And then we've got the top loading one there. Alright, so if you decide to make one and you share it on your social media, please do tag me, um, Amanda Charlesworth or Scrimpy Mummy. Come on over and share, share it with me because I absolutely love, so I can't get that back on there just now. I love seeing what you um, ladies and gents make. Um, so there you go, give it a try. Uh, I'll leave all the details over on my blog at scrimpymummy.co.uk including the products that I've used. These are available from June the 4th. See you soon. Bye.